welcome back to my channel as you might have already guessed and through the title of the video i will be talking about and sharing some of the tips that you can follow and can save money on the grocery food items and many more while you are living in germany so guys sorry to interrupt you but before I start my really long video on the food saving tip, I would like to give you two really important tips that I have just did because I'm coming out of the supermarket. And the first one is that if you're Indian or if you like to eat Indian food, then never go to the Indian store because they are usually more expensive than the same ingredient that you can get in the supermarket. Here I'm talking about food items like lentils, rice, beans, etc. Trust me guys, I would advise you to just simply go to the supermarket and over there it is like a fraction of the cost of what you will get in the Indian store. And guys, while I'm waiting for the train, let me share you the second tip and it is to buy frozen items. So by frozen item, what I mean is that there are packs that you get in the frozen section which has like cut vegetables, fruits and you can actually refrigerate it and can eat whenever you want. The best part of the frozen food is that it stays fresh longer compared to the usual fruit vegetables that you buy from supermarket. Besides that, it's not really a high maintenance. You simply have to pop it into the freezer and that's it. And as a bonus, I would like to give you a third advice. If you buy any food from the private label, it is much more cheaper than buying the branded, more international brands. For example, if you buy a bread which is from Nestle or a cake from Nestle, compared to the ones which is available by the supermarket, like their own brand, then it's like a fraction of the cost or at least like half of the price. So let me give you an example. On one side you can see that one bread was cost 1.19 euro which is from some international brand well-known brand and the another one from Lidl their own private label they costed only 55 cents so you can see it's, it was a huge big difference besides that they are also of good quality as the international brands surprisingly this is my third attempt to make this video because every time when I am filming this video somehow either it's not recording or it just get deleted but let's quickly do it today first step and it's a really basic one never go for the grocery shopping when you are hungry 
Trust me, I have noticed it myself that if I am going to the grocery shopping and I am hungry or have not eaten enough, then there, especially in the chocolate corner, sweet corners, I definitely end up doing some impulse purchase. Behind me, I just came across an Indian restaurant and since I'm really good in savings, money saving, so I thought to tell you that in case you are craving for Indian food, then it's a better option to go to the supermarket, buy all the ingredients rather than going and wasting your money in some such type of place. I have never tried there, but out of my experience it won't be at par to any indian restaurants that we have in india because here the food is adapted to the local preference rather than the real authentic indian food buy ingredients from the indian supermarket or german supermarket watch some youtube video and try to cook food yourself now my second tip which is related to my first one is that of course, when you're in Germany and you come across that assortment of chocolates, sweets, cakes, maybe in the first few months you want to give it a try, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. remember, anything that you will do for 40 days will become your habit. And that's what exactly what has happened to me. Like first year when I went to Germany and in the month of April, so I went to Germany in January and then by April I already started having acne attack on my skin and the result was due to eating lots of hazelnut. Now you might be wondering that how come hazelnut is related to chocolate? My friend, when you guys will be here in Germany or you might already be noticing that most of the chocolate products or sweet products are made out of hazelnut which is really tasty. But if you're eating it every day, just for the sake of trying different variants, you will actually end up becoming addicted to it and it will be too late for you to know that you are now an addict. Anyways, to save yourself from all this chain of getting into the sweets that are available in Germany, don't go to the aisles in the supermarket that are allotted to those assortments. Not to mention that of course when you're going back to India to meet your family, maybe at that time you could buy some chocolates like Milka, that's my favorite. You could buy those as a present. But as a bonus, let me even tell you something about depression as well at this point that of course you can try on some dark chocolates which is healthier alternative especially during winter so that your mood is always happy and uplifted because in Germany there is not a lot sun and especially after the Christmas when the outside there is no fun left and you will find yourself in a really depressing situation. So to uplift your mood, maybe you can try some chocolates as well. Third one is that never forget to take shopping bag with you when you're going to the grocery store because the shopping bag can actually cost you around 60 70 cent if it's a paper bag and it can go up to 1, 150, 2, the fancy ones, 2 euro, 3 euro, more fancier ones which you can of course use it again and again and they are even durable but if you already have something at home then why to get yourself into buying the new ones try to always have one bag with you always because i have seen my friends that they forget and since they are passing the grocery store which i have noticed that in germany i remember that when I used to come from university to my hostel, there is already three grocery stores that I have crossed. And of course, once I'm in my room, I don't really want to go out. So you might just go then and then you will find yourself not having any bag and you will buy it and will start piling it in your room. Trust me, I've seen some people who are moving out and they are trying to get rid of the 
number of bags that they have actually shopped those shopping bags which they end up throwing away because every time each time they are in the store and especially if you're a guy you will not carry the shopping bag and you will end up buying again and again and again and again and you have no idea that in total how much money you have already spent which you could have used it into something else like buying a chocolate maybe So I think that's it. It has covered almost all the things that I actually do to save some more money. So do let me know in the comment section if you have enjoyed this video. In case you guys have more tips, so do not forget to mention it in the comment section so that the other people can also take advantage of it and can be helpful to them. So I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.